This is my current desk setup, but in this video, I'm gonna be cleaning it all up. And most importantly, I'm getting rid of my ultra wide monitor. And from now on, I'm only gonna be working from my laptop, no external monitor. I know that sounds really crazy, but I promise you, I have a good reason for this. So come join me in this video while I clean everything up, reorganize everything. And while doing all of that, I'm gonna tell you why I wanna get rid of my external monitors and wanna work exclusively from my laptop. So before we get started, let me give you a quick lay of the land of what is on my desk. As you can see, my desk is absolutely disgusting. I have like this old microphone arm that I don't even use anymore. Shout out to Crabtree and Evelyn. It is a great lotion brand, smells great as well. So much trash just all over the place. Random like headphones, lighting mounts, lighting fixtures. Then this is where the magic really happens. My ultra wide monitor, which I'm gonna be getting rid of. It has served me well for like three years now. Laptop, Grove made desk stand keyboard. I forgot what that's called, but it's pretty dope. It's a cool little display. And then when you go over here, it's another laptop stand, another lighting fixture up there, and some more miscellaneous cables and an additional camera that I honestly don't really use anymore. So as you can see, my desk is horrendously messy and I want to fix all of this and let the cleaning and organization begin. When I was first setting up my desk, I always thought that the more cables and more monitors that I had, the more productive that I would be. But after doing this for a couple years, I feel like I swung way too hard in that direction and I don't actually think that is the case anymore and I actually think that having more screens makes things way more distracting. I don't even know where to start right now. I'm keeping this laptop stand. This is gonna stay. Am I gonna take off this gigantic monitor? Okay, let's figure this out. All right, the wheels are unlocked there. The wheels are unlocked there. So much miscellaneous crap down here as well that just needs to go. As I was saying earlier, when you have more monitors, there is more opportunity to have more windows open to be more productive. Once again, theoretically, yes, I agree with that. But what actually ends up happening, at least in my experience, is I don't end up being more productive. I become way, way more distracted because I just end up having like multiple YouTube windows, Spotify windows open up, multiple chat windows open up all the time. So while also giving you more room to be productive it also gives you way more room to be way more distracted maybe i just don't have enough self-control that is very likely the case of my life knowing myself i need to limit the opportunities that i have to be more distracted so i gotta get rid of the external monitors and by forcing myself to only have one screen i think it forces myself Ooh, that's so heavy forcing myself to only have only one screen it makes me way more Productive. That was a lot. Okay. But definitely in the past like six months or so, I've really adopted this mentality of less is more. Like for example, with coding, I used to be so crazy about using Vim, having the most complex text editor setup in the world with like 50 bajillion extensions. And I thought that that would make me more, more productive. And I'm sure up until a certain point, it probably did. But then it got to a certain point where I felt like I was spending way more time installing and managing all of my extensions and all my plugins than actually doing work. So it really just kind of defeated the purpose of having more plugins because they were not making me more productive they're making me way more distracted and that's kind of the same thing that i'm doing with this whole desk setup thing right now i am trying to limit the amount of distractions in my life so that i can focus much more on getting focused work done that's why i'm getting rid of my external monitor from like a more philosophical perspective but there's actually legitimate technical reasons as to why i'm getting rid of my external monitors as well there are two major like technical legitimate reasons as to why i am getting rid of my external monitors what the where does this cable go so for those of you that don't don't know I am a software engineer in my day job so I build primarily websites web development is my type of programming style of choice I like to build a lot of websites one thing that really annoys me about my ultra wide monitor is the fact that it is a 34 inch monitor it is not a 49 inch monitor a 49 inch ultra wide monitor makes it such that it is big enough it is essentially the same as having two 27 inch monitors side by side next to each other with a 34 inch monitor if you split two apps side by side with one another neither one of them are gonna be perfectly the the same size in like a 16 to 9 aspect ratio like a 27 inch monitor now that's not too big of a deal for most people but it is for me as a full stack web developer the reason for that is because when i build a website there have been way too many times where i code out a website on my widescreen monitor in a split screen view where the left hand side is my browser the right hand side is my text editor and the website looks perfect on my widescreen monitor when the apps are split side by side next to each other but then i go off of my widescreen monitor go to my laptop which is a normal 16 by 9 aspect ratio which is the same aspect ratio as the vast majority of computers and laptops in the world. And when I look at the website on my 16 by nine ratio, it looks horrible. And the reason for that is because I initially coded the website 
on a non 16 by nine ratio. And that has happened way too many times during my software engineer development process that where I thought I was done with the work, but I had to go back in and redo the whole thing just because my monitor lied to me, making it seem like it looked perfect, but on a 16 by nine aspect ratio, it looked horrible. And then I know, as I said, that some of you are gonna be like, bro, why don't you just get a normal 16 by nine monitor? You just get like a 27 inch monitor, bro. You need that external monitor to be extra productive. And you're not wrong. That's not out of the realm of possibility. And I would be even more open to it if, you know, for a coincidence sake, let's say a gigantic Korean electronics company who's known to make a lot of good monitors would love to sponsor a video for another Korean individual, myself, and sending me over a free monitor. Huh? Samsung, LG, anyone, any takers? I'd be open to getting a new monitor for free. But if I'm being honest, I don't think I need to spend the money to buy a monitor for myself. But also more importantly is the fact that I do a lot of work away from my desk. Oddly enough, I actually really love working on the couch and having my laptop on my lap like the name suggests. I think just like jumping from a monitor to my laptop only, I frequently transition between using my monitor and my normal desk setup, like the desk setup you see right here, to just using my laptop. And I just don't like that jump between laptop to external monitor a lot. I like to just keep everything as uniform as possible. So if I can just keep everything in like the laptop view, I think that would just be easier for me to transition from using my desk to working on the couch, to working at a cafe, just a little less jarring on the eyes and to my workflow. Cause I feel like whenever I jump between monitor to laptop, there's always a little a bit of readjustment period where I had to rearrange my windows to make sure it looks good on the big monitor as it does on my laptop and that's kind of annoying. So once again, I just don't want to have to think about being productive. I want it to be such that anytime I'm on my laptop and doing work, I am immediately productive. All right, made some progress. As you can see, the monitor is now chilling on the couch behind me. Let me show you the state of my desk right now. Quick pause, but I want to talk about a brand new product that I built. So I'm actually sponsoring my own videos. Like I just released a brand new product called perfectinterview.ai. It's an AI powered mock interview platform. If you have any type of job coming up and you want to get some mock interview practice, you no longer have to find someone to give you mock interview because this is just 100% AI powered. And the best part is, is all done using your voice so it's as realistic as possible. You talk to answer the questions and then the AI model speaks back to you as a real interviewer and you just chat back and forth. We actually just launched a brand new feature where you can input the company name as well as a job description of the job that you want to have a mock interview for and we automatically generate those interview questions for you and put you through that AI powered mock interview. The second even bigger update in my opinion is the fact that we just launched mock software engineer coding interviews. So you get a coding question that you then solve and run against real test cases and while you're doing so you get an AI mock interviewer that you can ask questions for help and in clarifying questions just like a real life interview and most importantly we record your entire coding interview the screen and your microphone so that after the end of the interview you can then review your interview to see how you sounded explaining your solution so this is a great way to get that really realistic practice to see how you sound in a real life software engineering coding interview once again check it out at perfectinterview.ai enough of me yapping let's get back to the video i know some of you might be confused you're like wait a minute wait a minute why do you have two separate laptop stands and the reason for that is actually pretty simple. Dare I say I am a content creator? I make content on the internet. I obviously still have my day job. So oftentimes I had to switch between my work laptop and my personal laptop all the time. So like during the work hours of my day job, I would have my work laptop there. And then once the day job's over, I'd get rid of that and put my personal laptop to make YouTube videos, do coding projects. But now that I have two of these desk stands, I'm just gonna keep both laptops here at all times, keep them open at all times. So I don't have to swap them out all the time. Instead, I can just have them open and not have to worry about it and have my entire setup. Now it's time for me to clean up this little mess right here. Just do a lot of some maintenance work. I don't know why I brought out a drill. I thought I needed this. I am literally so stupid. Don't need that at all. So I'm almost done reorganizing my desk setup. I'm just one thing. I just have to put all of this a little miscellaneous stuff in some storage boxes. And then I might actually put this microphone back onto this microphone arm. And one really, really tiny thing that annoyed me about having that ultra wide monitor is the fact that I often use my ultra wide monitor in the split view. I would have one window on the left hand side and another window on the right hand side. You know, it's kind of the whole point of having an ultra wide monitor. But the one thing about that that was really annoying to me was the fact that I I never was looking completely straight. My neck and my eyes would always be slightly to the left like this or to the right like this. I don't get it either. It is totally irrational. It doesn't make sense for me to be super annoyed by that, but sorry, I can't help it. It really annoyed me that I never was looking completely straight and I was always off to an angle to look at a particular window. So if I ever were to upgrade to another external monitor again, it probably would be like a single 27 inch monitor rather than another ultra wide one, just specifically for that reason, just so I'm not like splitting, like going cross-eyed, trying to look both ways at a time. I just want to look straight and that is about it. Don't get me wrong. I actually really, really enjoyed my time with the ultra wide monitor. And I think 
most people in the world will be very, very happy with it. But just for me, as somebody that does a lot of web development, it did become like almost a, a bit of a professional issue where it was actually impacting the legitimate work that I was doing by having things in the wrong aspect ratios and things are just not looking good. But I would say if you are not somebody that is working on a website, so you're not like a designer or you're not a developer, ultra wide monitor is great. There's a great way to have one monitor to do it all for you. You get tons of room, you get tons of screen real estate to do all of your work. It's great for splitting up screens. Honestly, highly recommend it. Just for my line of work, at least not the best fit for me since I needed something a little bit more precise in terms of the sizing of the monitor. I highly recommend you getting one if you have been interested in one. I don't want to dissuade you from getting one, but I do want to provide just a second opinion about what is the best monitor for you. So for me, I just know that the laptop, the single screen, whether that be just a single laptop or a single 27 inch monitor, once again, preferably from a potential Korean brand that would like to sponsor another Korean American content creator, is what I would prefer. I'm going on the single screen setup for now, but you know, that's the funny thing about life. I think people are always like, I'm looking for the end game setup. I'm looking for the perfect desk setup. I'm a firm believer that the perfect desk setup simply does not exist. Your preferences, your needs, your desires, they will always change. And that's the beauty of this whole crazy thing about finding that dream desk setup is. You're always gonna be looking for something new. That's the whole fun of it. I'm a gearhead. I love buying gear. I love buying gadgets and I can, I'm gonna own that. I can very, very happily own that fact. All right, that was actually way less of a painful process than I thought. It's only been 30 minutes or so from the beginning to the end and I have my complete desk set up here. So much cleaner, let's walk through this. So nothing has changed all that much aside from no more external monitor, but what was originally a gigantic light over there, on the left hand side, I have now just moved it to the center so that when I turn the light on, it can just shine directly down on me. I'm not a lighting expert, maybe it's gonna look awful, but um, it's nice just to have one light set up so I don't have to buy another one. Like I mentioned before, I'm going with the all laptop setup, but once again, I actually still have my day job. So this is my work laptop that I'm always gonna have right here. And then this is my personal laptop. And all I'm gonna do is when I wanna work on my personal laptop, I'm just gonna scoot my keyboard over a little bit so that that laptop is facing me directly in the center. And then when it's work time, I just scoot my keyboard over here and this is my primary laptop instead. So for now, I've moved my microphone over here. I'll be honest, a part of me kinda of wants to get another microphone. I wanna get the Shure SM7B. Not super, super satisfied with this one. I don't know, I've had issues where randomly it just disconnects and shuts off and no longer receives audio. So I kinda of wanna get rid of it. AirPods Max on the left-hand corner right here. I'll be honest. I don't use them all that much since I work from home. I just play it on the speakers. Have my tidbit, that's what it's called. I remember the name. Got my little iPhone charger here, little iPhone stand off to the corner. I tucked away a lot of miscellaneous storage stuff like in the crevices of this Grove Mave storage unit. And then I have my, oh, my keyboard. Kinesis Advantage 360 Pro. It's the Bluetooth wireless split keyboard. I have mixed feelings about it. It's good, but not the greatest keyboard I've used ever. Happy to share my thoughts about it if you want some more details about my experience with it. And then over to the right hand side, I have my Ember mug, which has been faithful with me for I think three years and I've had it for a long, long time. And my water bottle right here. So this is gonna be my drink section in the right hand side. Hopefully it won't spill anything and destroy all of my electronics. But that is my desk setup. I don't know, it looks kind of clean. I like it a lot better. So much simpler, so much more organized, a lot less shit just like flying all over my desk. I'm a happy camper. Now it is up to me to sell this gigantic monitor on Facebook Marketplace. So wish me luck in getting rid of it and selling it. Thanks for joining me on this little adventure to organize my desk and also hearing my logic as to why I got rid of my extra wide monitor and all external monitors as well. Curious to hear your thoughts. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? What's your current monitor setup? Are you going to get rid of your monitors after watching this video? Let me know.